good. You okay? Yeah, I'm good, brother. You? Yeah, not bad. So welcome home, brother. Yeah, cheers, my boy. What's been happening? Not a lot. So how long have you had to do this time then? You went, it's August when I spoke to you last time when you were in the hostel, wasn't it? Yeah, I had me in the hostel and then the old shit house that Decker and Shadow Box who grasped me up to me probation. Yeah, so basically Decker complained to the Police Complaint Commission and to the parole board uh, where I, I got it on file. But well, they won't make a statement, but you know you don't have to make a statement with someone like me who's on parole. All they've got to do is just drop it in and you're fucked, isn't it? Yeah, of course. So there wasn't actually any offence that you got recalled for. It was literally just intelligence and these shit houses putting in. That's what it was, mate. Exactly that. Police, police intelligence inciting violence. First time from Europol, uh, because where he's based at, south of Ireland, anything what's a cross border issue, uh, Europol had to message, had to get in touch, sorry, with my probation and arrested me, saying they had intelligence that were coming with convoy of cars to uh, Ireland for violence while I was on licence, so I breached my licence conditions, you know what I mean? Fucking hell, what a headache. So you end up having to serve four months then? Yeah, four months, bro. Minor. I've done that on my head. Of course, of course, but you've done enough time anyway. So what was that? Sentence 24, was that? Yeah, it's not that. I've lost yeah. count now, mate. <laughs> Too many years behind the door, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. No more now, mate. No more. I'm done. So you're the straight and narrow now, then? You're going to start try and stay out of trouble in 2024? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna wrap it with Jack. Me, me and Jack Draper's just been confirmed to next BKFC in April, isn't it? Nice, nice. So you're gonna be training hard then the next few months. Yeah, mate. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna get on the drink now. Stay on the drink till first of January. First of January, I'm gonna get out. Well, you deserve a little break, innit? You spent most of 2023 inside, didn't you? Well, yeah, I've practically done it all except for a couple of weeks. Uh, well, obviously in that hostel, you know what I mean? Of course. And where where did you end up going then this time? Uh, I went to Lincoln this time, mate. Uh, I was I was there with some kids from your ways. Uh, a lot of the Swale side lads. Uh, a couple of lads from Scrubs, Will. Uh, yeah, some Basildon kids. Yeah, I, I got about, mate. Nice. Was it all right in there? Was it as good yeah. as could be? Yeah, sound mate. Yeah, we were uh, bang on to be fair with you. Perfect. Right. There's only three, only three wings there. You've got A wing, uh, B wing, C wing, and then obviously you've got the non swing, which is E wing, uh, uh, and what have you. But yeah, apart from that, mate, it's perfect. Good, good little prison, mate. I uh, got yeah. in there, did what, did what I had to do. Uh, yeah, I had, I had it boxed off, mate, without ragging the rope too much. I had the full jail boxed off. Nice. So there wasn't too much drama in there. You didn't have to give anyone a slap or anything. No, it's it, it's jail, isn't it? If you've got a reputation, you have to fight in jail no matter what. So once I knocked the first few kids out, they fucking every everyone was just fucking on the toes, and yeah, there was, there was just no competition really, mate. I just took over really. Fair play to you. And so now, have you finished your license now, Brett? Uh, yeah, my license is done now, mate. It's finished. I'm done. So you've got no restrictions on you, no tags, nothing like this right now, no GPRSs on you? Nothing, I'm free as a bird now. Sweet as a nut. And so uh, where are you, back in Doncaster? I'm just in Leeds at the minute, at my pal's gaff. I'm just going out there uh, for a few drinks in Leeds. Uh, and then I'm going to head back to Doncaster in a bit. I'm just, I just moved around, mate. I just... I just like to go from city to city and, and explore for a bit, but I'm based in Doncaster, mate, yeah. Yeah, of course. And so anyone out there who thinks that Brett May's got a problem with them in Doncaster or anything like this, are all the beefs done? Are you just trying to keep your head down now? Or is there a few people that still need to keep their head down and need to keep away from Brett May? Uh, mate, I just go about my business, me. Uh... Uh, I just do like, I, I did it to a couple of kids who were even linking with me, like, uh, I seen a couple of enemies what were in there, what landed in, uh, a few of them wear my scars and that come from, from the families and what have you, and I just went up to them, I said, look mate, do you want to come in this cell and have it one on one, or here's my hand, but I, a couple of them didn't want to shake my hand, so I knocked them out there on the spot, uh, and that was it mate, there was just, there was just no competition, I, I 
I'd rather get on with people. I'd rather have friends than enemies. But what can you do? Shit happens, fights happen. You can. You just got to back yourself, haven't you? Yeah, of course. So all the old feuds, though, they're done in your eyes. So any of the people out there that are watching this thinking Brett May's got a problem with them, it's on site. It's not on site. Don't do anything stupid. And you ain't yeah. going to do nothing to them at the moment. Is yeah, right? no, listen. If, if anyone's had a bit of a chew with me or whatever, dear, unless it was something super personal, then I'll, I'll walk up to them. I'll be a man and I'll say, look, kid, I've had enough. And here's my hand. Do you want to put it to bed? If they don't want to put it to bed... Then obviously you'll have a few bangs and whoever wins will have a pint afterwards, isn't it? Yeah, of course. And so for anyone who hasn't seen the previous in, in, interviews with you, Brett, you've served over 10 years behind bars, ain't you, if I'm not wrong? Yeah, yeah, 12, mate, now I think, yeah. So, and you're only, you're young, you're only 30 years old, ain't you? How old are you? Uh, 32, mate. 32, so you're young and you've already served 12 years behind bars. That's enough time for anyone in their lifetimes. So like you said, you're... Gonna be trying your best to stay out of trouble now. Yeah, since 14 years old, I first started going into the police cells when I was like 10, 11 year old. You know how you do when you're a little bastard, smashing houses, upsetting fire to things and what have you, uh, and having fights. But yeah, uh, uh, I started going to jail when I was 14. And uh, yeah, mate, that's me done, bro. I've done, I put my work in, I've earned my stripes, I'm out. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course. And like I said, you've got the opportunities there of the BKFC. So you've got something to focus on, something positive. So it's not like you ain't got nothing to get 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 into, you no. know? That's right, mate. That, 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 that is exactly what I'm doing now, mate. It's just head down time. Stay, 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 stay head strong and, yeah, just, just smash the BKFC out there. That's all that's on my mind. And so what are you going to do? Give it a week or two, relax, and then start, start getting into training in January at some point. First of January, mate, I'll kick off on my first day. Uh, I'm going to head down to Sheffield, to Ingalls and what have you. Uh, old Brendan Ingalls, Jim who passed away, bless him, God bless his soul. Uh, see Dominic there, see if you can get some personal sessions with him and what have you. Uh, and then that, yeah, that would, crack on with camp, mate. That would be unbelievable for you. And I know Dominic does do the sessions, so get up there. That's the best idea you ever had. Dominic's unbelievable. He'll get you in unbelievable shape. Right? Fucking do it. That's what... That, that's what's on my plan, mate. Obviously, the level I'm fighting is there, mate. I can't, I can't see no better gym than my local area in Yorkshire to go there, mate. So that's where I'm going to enter. If you go down there and you're with Dominic and you're actually getting your head into training and doing it properly, you will do amazing things in this bare-knuckle world. And like I said, you're on the biggest platform, BKFC. And so you're hoping to be on the, the April show then against Jack Draper, are you? Yeah, so that's what I'm looking at. We'll fight Jack in April uh, at the next BKFC show. And um, yeah, mate, just head down, personal sessions every day uh, and get and get hard at it and see where it takes me, mate. Dedicate yourself. No sex, no masturbating, no nothing, just pure training and get the fight on with Jack. Of course. And do they, do they know where the April show is yet? Uh, no, I think they're trying to run it back at Wembley again, I think they said, because... Jack said he'd only fight down south because when the last one, when they offered him down up north, he said he couldn't get the ticket sales to take it up. So Jack says he'll only take the BKFC down south, which I'm cool with that anyway. I think them south shows are good anyway. Yeah, it's fucking good show before, wasn't it, the Wembley one? Yeah, I think, I think, that, I think that's the daddy anyway. I'm, I'm not too bothered about fighting up here in the north. I'll fight down south. Yeah, apart from you getting nicked after, it's a fucking well. And obviously not going your way. It's a fucking good venue, isn't it? Oh, mate. You couldn't write that, mate, could you? You couldn't write that. And so, that, what, what, are your other, what are your other plans in 2024, then, apart from the fighting? Just staying out of trouble, spending time with staying your loved ones? Staying out of trouble, ones. mate. Uh, I've, 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 I've now back recently become single. Now, yeah, I'm not with my ex-partner no more. I'm back single. So, see what's out there. Any good women coming away and just going to party it up till then, you know what I mean? Party it up and then get your head down into the fighting, into the training, stay out of trouble. And is there anyone you want to give a shout out to at all, Brett? Any of the boys you're inside with? Any of your loved yeah, ones? And... Of course it is, yeah. I go shout out to T Dog and all the Stolford boys, uh, all the Manchester kids up there who are zero me. Uh, going out to Big Will and all them from the Basildon and all the Basildon lads. Uh, respect boys. Uh, take it easy. And uh, much love to all Doncaster kids. Yeah, God bless you. Of course. And then in terms of, is there any warnings you want to give to anyone? Like you just stated a minute ago. You don't want no trouble with no one. All the beefs are done in your eyes. People don't need to worry. Anyone who's had a problem with you in the past, but if anyone wants to mess about, then obviously I'm sure you could go from zero to 100 in a split second, can't you? 
Come on, man, you've got to defend yourself, haven't you? What, what, what are you supposed to do? Stand there and let's go and punch you in the face. If the people shake my hand, I shake their hand. But if someone puts me in a position where I think they're going to swing first, I'll knock them clean out. Simple. Of course. So, uh, yeah, anyone out there, don't take his kindness for weakness. He's still the same fella. He's just trying to be a little bit more sensible now. He's done enough time behind bars. So let him at least stay out for a few months so he can have the fight in April, eh? Yeah, sound, bro. That's safe. But um, all right, well, look, I'm going to have to come up, back up and see you at some point then in the next couple of months. So make sure you don't get nicked and I'll come and see you during your training camp or whatever for the April fight. But it's good to see you back out, Brett. And uh, yeah, well done. And look, I wish you yeah, the best well of luck. Good to, you, mate. Good, good to hear from you, mate. Keep up the good content, yeah? Yeah, I wish you the best of luck in 2024. And to everyone watching, thank you very much. Hope you all had a good Christmas. Brett, enjoy your next few days, drinking, partying, get it out of your system. And yeah, get back on it. Start of January then, all right, son? I'm listening. I'm, I'm, I'm two pints deep now on these Peronis. Wait till I have 12 and then get me back on. <laughs> Mate, you won't be able to drink 12 Peronis after being in there all year. Not unless you're on any of the other stuff. Listen, you watch me, son. I promise you, mate, I can drink. It's done. Well, give us a shout later on then. But look, have a good day then, Brett, all right? And uh, yeah, all good right. to see you out, son, all right? Yeah, brother, thank you for that. I take it easy, my mate. Nice one, brother.